to the TDS to control. Unfortunately, I will have to start doing this. Yeah, I think um, I might need to switch back to one infantry troop loop. Looks like they have their cab in a circle. What? be better if I lead the, uh, the infantry. I have the most bombs anyway. Now, hopefully they didn't get a lot of food in the settlement while we were doing this. Because I don't think we're gonna win that if we assault it. Finally, has this and this. Hopefully, we're gonna be able to take all that. Much worse. I mean, we can break down the walls in that time anyway. Got another castle. We're gonna be giving those away, of course. I'm not sure if I have him. Yeah, I do have improved garrison. Good, good, good. Yeah, see, so it's one day. They have one day left of food, and we. Oh god, we might not have enough influence. They have one day left of food. We just now built the siege equipment. I got them. That's the garrison, so that means they're gonna have a lot of uh, higher tier troops as well. Well, if they take that, we can easily take it right back because it's not gonna have a lot of in the gar a lot of troops in the garrison, so it should be fine. Although cohesion, cohesion is gonna be a problem. Yeah. What did we lose renown because we lost settlements? Is that what happened? That's not that ain't fair. Okay, let's just try. Let's just try and get their uh, siege equipment down and attack. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're gonna need to assault like this then. 
They did deplete their garrison at least. Have to three have to have three infantry lines for this. No oh, wait, we don't have a bat battering ram, right? We're good. We are good. Seventy bow. I don't think we're gonna touch. If we do touch him, they're not gonna do what they're supposed to. Of course, there's a rock in the way. Never mind, maybe we do need. Did they fix the renown issue? Which one is that exactly? But the, like the bug that uh, makes so you like need a million renown or or minus a million renown to increase cohesion or something like that because that's you know that not really an issue because you can uh, close and open the screen and it fixes itself kind of oh god well, this is gonna go well Should have not gone up this ladder, that's for sure. New patch has clan renown gain issue. You get renown shown after battle, but you go to your clan and renown ain't gained in the bar. On the 1.10 beta, right? Now I'm still playing on 1.12, uh, 1.02. So I wouldn't know. No, I'm not on. Uh, no, I'm not on a new patch. I'm on zero one point zero two. Still. So I'm not on the newest version of the game I did. Let me check if the if shit My whole army went up one of the ladders, didn't it? Of course it did. So I'm not playing on the newest patch or the beta patch. So they use a lot of mods and I want them to break. They would break if I am on the newest patch. Like no renown gain, that's so f oh. How the hell did they screw that one up? Like what what the hell are you supposed to do then? If you can't gain, gain any now. Like you can't increase your clan team. What how the fuck did they fuck that one up? Like what the fuck? Eh, uh, Tail Worlds. They'll never cease to amaze me then. 
they basically broken the game. Unless you cheat your way somehow to a higher clan tier or something. You can't become a mercenary, you can't be become a part of a kingdom, you can't start your own kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. At least they implemented the party, uh... At least they implemented the party, what was it, uh, community? Let me just check, um... At least they stole a mod and implemented it into the game. At least they did this. I have a mod doing this. At least they put it in the game. By stealing the code off a, off a mod, definitely. <laughs> that seems to be the issue now. Don't tell me they're stuck somewhere. Okay, good. <laughs> Party screen enhancements. My ass. There's 79 defenders in in there. That's gonna go well for him. I did five fights and it didn't go off. Oh, definitely something wrong there. There's 90 something in there, but there's only 25 now. What the hell? New patch is interesting, but has uh, issues. Well, it's a beta patch. Betas, you're supposed to have some issues before they get ironed out. But still, like, something like not being able to gain renown. How the hell? What? That's game breaking. Basically. a shitload of money off of this but we have another another one increased another increased damage one nice Wait, let me pick up the prisoners first or the ones willing to join Almost a hundred K. All right, we didn't even pick up the prisoners. Oh no, there's only 25. No, there's 300 prisoners. <laughs> Loads of money. That's how you make money in the game. One, only one. Because we got some uh, or not or influence, maybe we can continue this. That should be enough. To take this back and to kill off the Southern Empire. Oh, if someone takes that, that's gonna make my life easier. And side culture. Well, uh, I would say go back a few patches and play with a mod. I don't play this game unmodded. Like, I have a mod that changes the Northmen. 
So like, you know, War Engine Kingdom and such. I do have a link in the description to my Gilded server. Open it up real quick. So basically, you could just go here in active or finished and pick one of these. Eagle Rising would be a good choice. Just use the mods I'm using here and have yourself a playthrough. If you want to play as Romans, or if you want. Samurais, there's even that. There's one earlier or newer, I think. Yeah, this one. Eagle Rising box your laptop. <laughs> uh, decrease the quality settings, decrease the battle size limits. Well, I'll tell you then. Too slow for it. Oh, uh, you can. You can use this mod I'm using now, I guess. It only changes the names and the equipment of the Northman units. Basically, nothing else. Makes them a l tiny little bit better. Not too OP. Okay, now I need to take this immediately. Parlay, no. I don't know, base game. I don't know. I don't really have a favorite faction, to be honest. I don't really play base game. Depending on uh, what you like to play as. If you like... Uh, Like horsemen heavy or cavalry heavy, go for the Kuzites or the Ezra, of course. If you have, if you like crossbowmen and heavy infantry and heavy cav, just go Valandian. Empire is well imbalanced. Batanians, if you want an archer spam. Sturgeons, if you want to have a strong infantry line. Or you can mix and match. We're into that. Find that. I don't know, no problem. Uh, basically, with the like, look at all the mods you like. And see uh, what's the co like, which version are they compatible with, and just go for the highest one you can get. So if uh, if a word of a mod is only compatible with like the you know zero one point zero point zero, go with that. If it's compatible with one point zero point two, go with that then. Like you choose the. Uh, See what mods you want to install and see what's the highest version of the game you can use them all with. That's basically what I did with this. I even added fill stacks, which uh, makes the AI recruit like you, so then they get cheats, get the troops out of their ass. Which hasn't been updated since uh, 1.8.0, I believe. It still works. Them. No, okay, not. okay, they should piece them out as well. Now I need to quickly go up there. And by quickly, I mean super fucking slow. Alright, selling the prisoners would be good, but no. Wait a 
I mean, I have I have improved garrison, but I'm not getting the. All right, I might, I might need to go into the city first. Or maybe something has gone wrong. You never know. I do have a YouTube video on how to like go back and fix, fix, you know, make the game stay on a single version of the game and I'll update if you need that too. Okay, we're gonna have to do this in one go. Okay, only three days of food. That's actually decent for us. Our engineer is not top tier yet, unfortunately. And of course, we're sharing food with the army because they're starving, of course. As per usual. God damn it. They gain food somehow, somewhere. So what's my party capacity now? Still the same, probably. Fuck. I want to starve them out as much as possible. Okay, we can go in now. I guess I don't need cohesion since this is going to be the last battle with the Northern Empire. And there we go. No more empires. Except the one. Which uh, might be a... Eh, we'll see. Oh, well, I'm, I'm going to deal with it anyway. With the hell cares. Like since I'm going to form the Surgian Kingdom later on... Um, I'm gonna have to deal with them, but yeah. Soldier, move! Is the other break in the wall? Alright, there. set up in some of these is annoying as hell. I'm gonna send you a link to the video. You need to revert back to an older version of the game if you want to play with uh, most of the mods. Kills there. No, no, why? Only now they're getting up the walls. I should drag them out, but they're not really working as 
as I'd like it to. Doesn't seem like I'm going to be moving in anytime soon. I might as well get used to it. I don't have a horse to run in there anymore. Should be some in the gatehouse. No. That's surprising. Where the hell are they? Oh no. Well, they might be retreating, or they might be... No, they're retreating, good. For, for a second there, I thought they were going to be... Uh, stuck somewhere in a wall. Okay, the last three may be stuck somewhere. No, never mind. Sword for this. This like tight quarters. fighting in the keeps for the longest time i didn't see him maybe because of the realistic battle mod yeah maybe that's it actually I feel like plotting to kill emperors just uh, send this before i forget Yeah, it might be like uh, for the last like I don't know how many playthroughs I didn't have a uh, keep battle. I think it's because we uh, oh, we were using a, a realistic battle mod, which makes it so the enemies don't really treat. So that may have been uh, fucking me over a little bit, but not like the keep battles are that amazing. Like, usually the shit that's in the keep is probably, like, the lowest tier, anyway. Like we do have this. Uh, templates. Of... I guess we're gonna have to get the Empire Infantry. Keeps look like the Roman Empire palace politics. Emperors die like flies. <laughs> well, you kind of have to chop their head off, right? A little bit. If you're a veteran infantry, you know, with trained infantry. Oh, 
hardy contender. Okay, want about 120 infantry for garrison. This is another must have mod, basically. Makes things a lot less annoying to deal with. Trained archer. There is a mod that makes roguery and uh, actually plotting assassinations a thing, I believe. I can't remember what it's called, but it's on X mods. Sinopa is still going down, but not by a lot. You use Steam mods only now? Uh, there's not a lot of mods on Steam, I'm actually surprised. I was thinking there was going to be a lot more. surprising okay that should piece them out we're gonna get a shitload of money from this hundred seventy K Love marrying anyone. Play as chick, marry the Batanian guy, and go die as a chick so you get max character with the <laughs> Well, that's a, well, that's a strategy. <laughs> uh, got that. I didn't think of that. Then again, I'd never marry in this game. <laughs> yeah, marry a good lord, die, and just continue playing as them. <laughs> I guess that's, that's the way to go, actually. <laughs> That's a pretty good idea, actually. I like. It. I'm actually surprised. <laughs> just marry a good lord and just die somewhere. But then again, it is. Like, I played a lot of campaigns now on the hardest difficulty, and I haven't died once yet, at least. Then again, I don't really play this longer than five in-game years, so... I think at most I play 2,000 days in-game. Okay, let's find these. Cancel tutorial. We are stats in combat. Well, you can use serve as a soldier mod. Then while you're uh, serving a lord and he goes into a city, you can train. And there's a... You press H when you're training and it auto-trains your character. I mean, it's not that hard to get these up. You just need to grind for a long time. Speed stuff. Look at that. No more Northern e Southern Empire. No more Northern Empire. It looks like the Batanians are gonna uh, bite the dust soon. Caldog the king then. Wait, is he the king? No, 
not sure if that guy is the king. I mean, uh, once I married uh, what's her face down in the Southern Empire, when I became emperor. Oh, yeah, it is actually. Wait a minute. Did I look at their king a moment ago and it was some other guy? Nice map. What do you mean? We're only a vassal. Only a vassal. But now, like, uh, the idea is going to be to go to war with the Sturgeons, or maybe even the Valandians first, so I can grab this for myself. Then grab these two, then separate, and try to stay alive. <laughs> It would be nice if I got clan tier 5 before that. But I don't think I'm gonna wait that long. Then we need to buy food. Those motherfuckers ate all of our, all of our food. Powerful. Well, I'm pretty, I got pretty good at, at this game, so yeah. I do find it quite easy, actually. I'm used to playing Prophecy of Pandor on Warband, so this is a lot easier than that. A lot. Let me have a gander at my workshops. They suck. I'd never bother with workshops for that exact reason. They suck ass. food you, you can make more money by just fighting and selling loot basically that's what I do most of the time I do have a mod that's called true ransom so we're getting a lot a bit more money from ransoms but just selling loot will get you a long way you don't even need to blacksmith or fuck with the workshops there's no point it's a waste of time but if you want to take it slow and have a campaign that stretches out a long, or play a long time, then sure, but I don't have the time. Okay, let me look at these. They are destroyed. Kazites suck. Britannians are next, probably. Southern Empire destroyed. Azerai. You think Sturgeons have like, well, I guess now we have more land, but like, they were the biggest for a while. <laughs> but anyways, I think I'm gonna end this one here. Workshop only makes me feel important, but for income, it's bad. It's real shit. Yeah, loot selling loot is the best. Basically what I do early game is just go hunting down enemy lords and selling the loot you get off of them. Also you want to have the uh, the Skylar armors can be donated to the troops then uh, the Skylar weapons can be donated to the troops so you can get them uh, leveled up real quick. That's key as well. You don't want to have low, low tier shit that's why this army works. It's so high to you. Yeah, no problem, man. I do have a lot of playlists. You can watch any of them. See how I play. But if you want to skip the grind, just use the service of soldier mod. Because, uh... Uh... Well, after you, like, serve as a soldier for a while in the same clan or same empire, you can, uh... They give you an uh, the king gives you an offer or the emperor gives you an offer to join the uh, faction. 
So that's a, like a little shortcut you can use. But anyways, next. Oh, Persistent World or Persistent Ban Lord is out. Kind of ba getting beta tested. But I feel that's going to have the same problem as uh, any other MMO or RPG or any kind of game that has clans and persistent worlds. If you're not there at the start, you're kind of fucked. Unless you have someone to help you out. And even the clan, like, the, 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 the clan that's the biggest got to be the best no matter what. Or have the most shit. It's a bit unfortunate. But those games do have their uh, fair share of devoted players. So, yeah, who knows if you're into that shit. Go on and ahead. Full Invasion 3, actually, that's what it's called. It's not a persistent world. I think it's Full Invasion 3. The full invasion. Everybody knows the mod from Warband. Who's into, who's into that sort of thing? Right. We knocked out the empires fairly fucking quick. Like, we control most of the map. Well, not most of the map, but a decent amount. By not even trying, to be honest. Now I think we want to follow the king around a little bit more than if we declare war. Right, we want to declare war with Valandia first, so we can take this for ourselves. I need farm influence. Then declare war on Sturgeons to grab that as well. Okay, now the problem is I have this and this here fucking far apart and loyalty over there in these cities is gonna be shit since I've lost a party as well since it, we're of a different culture so if you sit here what happens okay, security goes up Some games. Let's build a last fairground we need. Oh god, 99 days. What else is gonna get? Okay. Maybe. The, well, like, what's the point of building up? Since we're not gonna keep these. For the most part. What the hell are uh, no retinues? Oh, clan tier five. Ah, right. Yeah, there's no point in building these up since you know we're gonna leave the kingdom anyway, leave the faction. So there's not really a point. We do need to find the king again. I think he was beaten last time. Where you at? Zionica. Follow his ass a bit more. I was kind of surprised he didn't like call an army in. But then again, why would the emperor like call an army and go raid and attack? With an army, he could do it all by himself, can he? Closed Warlord Helm. What do we have? 52. That's pretty hard to beat, but well, let's check anyway. That's actually a bit better than ours. Let's grab it.
think it's it pretty much is the same as the one we did. So, yeah, more or less the same. Same as the one we, I think, I think it pretty much is the same one. But one more armor stat, which is gonna help us definitely. Let's see. To buy food, I believe. A little bit. We do have a pretty high chance to go to war with the Valandians. Unfortunately, I don't have. Wait. The truce has concluded too recently to consider breaking it. Um, where? Like the uh, not aggression pack ain't showing up. What's up, Ahsoka? How are you? That's weird. We can we can declare war on the sites. Uh, that wouldn't be what he has right. Uh. Yeah, considering what my army is, I'd rather not fight those, to be honest. <laughs> He's still in there. Lazy bastard. He is recruiting them. We're going to war with Kuzites. All oh, right, I'm following him still around like a ranging gun. Would I watch us as soon as we get over there? I wonder what they're gonna attack first. As soon as we get over here, they're gonna like Valandia is gonna declare war on so on Valandia. Vlandia, Vla yes. He's gonna declare war on us. Come on. There we go. Really? I guess since we don't, we are not leading anything else. Let's just uh, keep this as is. Later on, I'm gonna need to switch to one infantry line or two. Was 
wondering why why some of them have blue shields and uh, another party joined us for this. I have no clue where they at. The cavalry should be able to take care of them before we even get them. I mean, it's only hidden pan, hidden pawn, and puppeteers. This was Warband that would be dead already. A million fucking times over, too. Right, we're picking these as prisoners and we're gonna let the. Uh Surgeon Lords go because we do need to persuade them. Oh, we declared war on the Azerai as well. Uh, well, wonderful. What could possibly go wrong? Two skirmisher heavy factions against us. Yeah, I see nothing wrong then. It's gonna go well for me. Landers do seem to keep losing the settlements they take over there because, you know, rebellion and, rebellions and all that. Something seems off, like since 1.8, I'd say, the AI doesn't know... Oh, fuck. Well, don't leave us to die here, come on. Uh. Well... Will we serve the king? Uh, ooh. This might actually fucking work. Yeah, this. I mean, he will die. That's for sure. His body will die, for sure. But we can camp down here. Supposed to turn that way. Maybe I should bait them with one of these, like flank with these or something. We'll see. Never mind. Yeah. Fuck him. Once again, I literally cannot attack or anything. Just okay, save is not too long ago. That's weird. I'm not sure what... Why that happened exactly. 
We did have it happen before, though. Maybe this time he's, he won't be as stupid to go besiege his. Dominic the Gladiator game on Steam, yeah. Why? Uh, I guess we'll join him. So we can speed up the siege. Five point three speed, yeah, we're not getting to them. Why did it get banned now? Did the developer say something? How would I put this? Without getting myself in trouble. <laughs> they took the game out of Steam, yeah. What happened? Uh the Domina game, the guy who made it said that, you know. Don't be stupid, uh, don't get vaccinated. It's a gladiator simulator, simulator game. And in one of the patch notes, he was like, you, don't be a dumbass and get vaccinated. Then the game got review bombed and such things. And now it's off the Steam store. Because free speech isn't a thing. That has been done for like a year. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Hmm. Let's see how. I think I can get them to. You. If I can fucking see to. Okay. You're supposed to be able to like uh, tell them to use specific ladders. I mean, Pfizer and Moderna, I think, are getting sued in Europe for misleading information and efficiency of, or efficacy of 1% such things. And, uh, but no, get the vaccine, man. Now we can get it only by getting a pirate version, but well... The guy probably has a website or something. Surely you can just, you know, buy the game off him directly. Hey, there's another set of ladders, right? Alright. I should have been up there. God damn it. Wait, did he say something? Did he, you know, bitch about people getting vaccinated or was it the masks? Or was it both, actually? I can't remember. The fuck was that aim, man? It was both. Well, now we have doctors going out and s explaining that... You having your mask on is actually gonna hurt you more because your lung tissue, whatever, is easier to get if easier to becomes easier to be infected. So yeah, he he was right. <laughs> Plus, like. I mean, look at the cloth masks. Like, did you, did anyone ever see people working in a fucking mine? And what the masks they wear? Fucking uh, painters. 